Hey, what's up guys? So today's video, we're gonna be checking out a set of uh, LED bulbs that are 9006 LEDs. They're gonna fit in the fog light location on this 2014 Ram 1500. So this is a 9006 bulb. Currently I have an HID kit in here. Um, it's just a basically a budget kit that's CAN bus compatible. But we're gonna go ahead and check out these um, other ones that I have. So I'll go ahead and show you that kit. It's basically an LED kit. This is basically what it says. C6S it says they're 3200 lumens and 30 watts, and it's an all-in-one compact design. So we can go ahead and try these. They look very simple to install. There's no ballast or anything crazy, so you basically just pop it in. It's almost like replacing the bulb. Pop it in, turn it, and then we're gonna go ahead and attach it. One nice thing about these is you'll see that they have a latch on this side and also a latch on this side because a lot of times LEDs are polarity sensitive so if you're having any issues and it doesn't turn on we can just flip this harness 180 degrees and hopefully it should ignite. So the only thing I'm not sure is if they're CAN bus compatible so we're going to go ahead and find out anyways. Hopefully they put enough load on the circuit because as you guys know this RAM uh, is very picky with with different bulbs and whether they place enough load on the circuit and illuminate the bulb out indication so let's go ahead and pop these in all right so underneath here i have my existing hid kit so that's why it's not going to look exactly the same as yours and i kind of have some extra stuff kicking around here i got a ballast and the can bus uh, decoder which is all in one included i can't detach it so basically what you're going to do is you're going to grab your bulb you're going to turn it counterclockwise you're probably gonna have stock bulbs in here, whereas I don't, so here's my HID bulb. I'm gonna let this hang for now. And this is gonna be your factory harness. You're gonna see this clip. You're just gonna lift it, pop it off. So that's the factory harness. And we're gonna be doing a comparison here. That's why I'm leaving all this intact. So then we're gonna take our new bulb, this HLED kit. We're going to situate it. The tabs do have a specific orientation. They'll only go in one way. So basically get it oriented. Turn it clockwise till you feel it stop. Then you're going to go ahead and take your clip. And like I said, we're not sure which way it's going to go yet. So we're going to try it in this position. And we'll go ahead and go up top and hit the fog lights and see if it powers on. If not, we're going to have to flip that clip 180 degrees. Okay, so we'll open up the truck. The ignition's already turned on, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on our running lights, make sure our fog lights are turned on, and go outside. And we're going to see this bulb is off, and the HID bulb over here is booted up. So obviously we have to sit there and flip that pin, so let's flip that pin. We'll wanna make sure to turn it off first though. So we'll turn the lights off. Then we can go down here and flip this pin. All right, so we'll take this harness, unplug it, and we'll flip it. And now it should hopefully work. But let's go and turn them on. All right, it looks like we got some light here. Hopefully you guys can see the color difference. I think this is a lot cleaner, brighter looking for sure. Okay, but before we go ahead and put the LED in the opposite side, this is of course the LED and this is the HID. Let's go ahead and bring this thing outside in the darkness, project against the wall and see how it looks outside. Uh, I'm of the opinion that it looks better in that white sort of light as opposed to this bluish kind of tint that we got coming out of this HID but let me know what you guys think but we'll find out in a second when we go outside. Here's the difference between the driver side LED in the fog light and the passenger side HID in the fog light. You can kind of see the left hand side is a whiter color whereas the right has more kind of a bluish tinge to it so this is kind of when you're looking and you're sitting in the cab, what you see here, as far as just the fog lights jumping outside. This is kind of the projection that we have here. So walking 
down. I would say that LED's doing a bit more for sure compared to the HID. That's the two different colors we have. And again, this is from the other side. You can definitely see that the side with the LED looks a lot brighter on the ground over there, this area here, versus on the other side with this HID. It's a lot duller looking here for sure on the road. So, And as far as how bright it gets, you can kind of see that the LED is projecting a lot further down the road. Let's go ahead and take a look up against the wall. Here's our infamous test wall with the fog lights. So you can see the two colored lights. Again, we have a nice, much more whiter light over here as opposed to this blue light coming from the HID kit. This is a 55 watt HID kit and that's kind of the color we have. So they're both doing a pretty good job, but I think I think the LED is a clear winner in, in this shootout, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's go ahead and put the other LED in there and take a look at night. Okay, here are the LEDs on both sides. I think this is great as far as light output from just some fogs. So these LED fogs are doing quite a bit of work out here. Wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty good looking on the camera here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always. But I think that's pretty good light just for some just for some fog lights, but let me know what you guys think. I think that's pretty good. All right, here's the light output that we have just from these fogs. I think it looks great actually. I'm really digging the uh, the white light rather than the blue tinge. I think it does a lot more as far as visibility than the other one does. Still got a nice cutoff, and I think these things are projecting quite well out of these reflector housings, but as always, let me know what you guys think, and if you guys want me to do any other comparisons, I can do that too. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on the fog light LED install. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to try these, um, but if you guys aren't, haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe because as always, we're always doing new videos. New videos are actually posted every other day, so we're always having new content. And if you guys haven't already turned on that bell notification, be sure to turn that on so that you're notified when the new video actually is uploaded. But make sure you check all the old content too because we've already covered a lot. But be sure to ask any questions in the comments below and I can hopefully help out and chime in and, and guide you the right way. But as always guys, if you like this video, thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.